when popular videos are multicast or when a sports event takes place simultaneously across multiple points, a large volume of traffic is generated. And when traffic is concentrated on limited areas, the network at these areas becomes heavily congested, which has an adverse impact on the quality of experience, or QOE, perceived by customers. To solve this problem, NTT Laboratories have developed a predictive routing optimization technology. It uses NTT's original AI technologies, including Corevo element technologies, in order to avoid QOE degradation. The predictive routing optimization technology consists of two element technologies, event traffic prediction technology and predictive optimal route assignment technology. The event traffic prediction technology is made up of environmental parameters and two NTT-developed user behavior models, the user mobility model and the user communication model. These two user behavior models are supplemented by environmental parameters that indicate the event environments such as the map information and time schedule for the event, and the number of visitors. The event traffic prediction technology predicts when and where traffic is likely to concentrate during an event. Predictive optimal route assignment technology assigns routes based on traffic prediction. This graph shows changes in network traffic over time. Different colors are used for traffic according to whether or not traffic forecasting is available. By combining optimal route assignment based on traffic prediction and load balancing to handle unpredictable traffic, routing is established in such a way that overall communication quality is maintained. Now, let's watch a demonstration that uses a marathon race as an example of a multi-point event. Spectators are likely to generate traffic in different ways as the marathon race unfolds. For example, they may take videos of runners and share them on the internet, or browse web videos while waiting for runners to appear. This simulation screen is generated by the event traffic predicting technology. The green curve shows the marathon course. Spectators are generating traffic at the areas shown in the black bars. As the race is starting, spectators generate an increasing volume of traffic. Traffic generation evolves as the race moves from the starting point to the finish line. Let's look at the change in traffic again. Depending on where spectators are present, the areas showing the volume of traffic in either red or yellow move along. The red areas are generating a large volume of traffic. Thus, the technology predicts movements of spectators and the generation of event traffic. This graph shows the predicted results. The marathon course is divided into four areas, Area 1 through Area 4. This graph shows how much traffic is generated in each area over time. The black graph shows optimal route assignment that reflects the above distribution of traffic. And this graph shows the results of the conventional approach of assigning the shortest path to traffic without considering traffic predictions. When the shortest path is assigned in this way, the traffic on the pink link here exceeds the link's bandwidth, causing traffic congestion. The time when the pink link is congested differs from the time when the green link is congested. Thus, routing can be optimized by diverting some traffic on the pink link to the green link based on the traffic prediction. This control can help prevent traffic congestion.
Thus, predictive route assignment optimization technology can proactively control network routing to prevent QoE degradation, even when traffic is increased due to occurrence of an event.